Man, Snoop told me something a long time ago. Uh, my first time he asked me to get on a song, put me in a room, and I jumped in there, and he could tell something was off. He came in the room. He's like, yo, nigga, if you weren't supposed to be here, you wouldn't be here. So mm. act like it. I said. It's like, nigga, if you got to take your shoes off, kick motherfuckers out, dude, nigga, I need the you that I see. Damn. I said, so from that day on, <laughs> it's up. Does hip hop owe you something? Like, man, I'm doing it. I still want this from hip hop. It owes me this. Hip hop don't owe me shit. I, I owe more than hip hop. I have to put something in it. My boy Terrence Martin said, if you don't put nothing in hip hop that somebody can copy or steal, you ain't did nothing. Stay focused and stay balanced. That's all you gotta do in this life shit. Blame your bitch, bro. Don't blame me. I know how it looks, but pussy gonna put so I didn't write the book, no Riding around the city, I'm a lock and load What's up, man? Wise baby, I'm in the building, but today, you know, I decided it would be a good idea. Since we own the West, to bring some of the best from the West to hang out with us, man. The homie, I, I was going to say, but I'm going to Jason Martin. That's right. He's in the building. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's such an honor and pleasure to have you here right now, kicking it with me for real, for real. You've had um, one hell of a run, young man. And you're still going. Man, it's crazy. And the Bay love you. Yeah, it's my second home right here. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. man! Just, first thing I want to kick off with, you know, talking um, to you real quick is you're going from problem, Jason Martin. Yeah. Name change. What was it that kind of influenced that? Uh, you know what I mean? Made you say, you know what? I'm gonna switch names up a little bit. Um, words are powerful. Mm -hmm. You know, they're very powerful. So if you don't want no problems no more, you might want to switch that up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I'm just getting older. I just didn't want to see myself. Uh, Getting introduced at the sixty-year-old uh, rap fest. Here comes problem. I come. <laughs> right, just right. Didn't, right. It didn't just seem like the vibe. You know what I'm saying? That that worked for now. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm on this. I mean, if you know me, if you knew me before that, I, people would be like, "Can I call you Prob?" Yeah, you can call me Prob. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. my name. It's, that's what it is. He's here too. <laughs> but, that's a fact. But Jason Martin is my real name. It's the name my mom and my dad gave me, and I want to put some some more pressure on that. Mm, I can respect that because yeah. my because my name is Wise Baby, but it roots from Young Scholar. Yeah, and you know it's really cool to have have you know names like you said, like bro, words is power. My grandma taught me that. You know what I said real early too. You know, mm -hmm. life and death is in the tongue, baby. So mm -hmm. be careful what you speak. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know if that was something that was brought up in you too, huh? Um, it wasn't brought up in me, but I learned that that's what's real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, if 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 you just keep going problem, 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 and then problem, problems keep coming. Even mm. though I've had an amazing life and an amazing run, just the stuff internally that was going on, I just didn't want it to happen no more. Mm. So I noticed once I switched that energy, the energy switched. Come on, huh? Yeah. Shit, you about to make me change my name to Blessings. Ah, come on. <laughs> or, or Direct Deposit. There it is. That That's one. Yeah. Okay. D2. Yeah, listen. <laughs> there it is. When it come, yeah. I'm going to know what to come back come to, on, goddamn. Man. Let's talk about your hood, man. Here at What's Hood, we like to take a deep dive into what makes artists so special. And I feel like everybody a product of their environment to, you know, to a certain extent, which I think makes sense. You know what I'm saying? You, Compton. Yeah. Where you from? Yeah. What does it look like? You know what I mean? Because we see the movies now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We see, you know what I mean? Cause like I said, I always tell you, I'm from Florida, so I only know what I saw on TV. Right. I don't know if it's safe to pull up out there. Nah, break it down for me, man. What's Compton like? It's home to me. It's beautiful. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to be from anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? Uh, danger included. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just, it, it, it raises a different type of man coming from that city. You know what I'm saying? If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. And it's a lot of us that have made it because, you know what I'm saying, that added pressure of life or death situations are, are, are they're taken lightly because they're every day. Yeah. So you don't notice it until you depart. And you're like, damn, oh shit, it was kind of crazy over there. But yeah, it's like, shit like, like, if you really just think about the movie Friday, mm -hmm. they was getting ready to get killed over $200. <laughs> And like if you really think about that, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> hey, but two hundred is a lot when but, you. Know but I'm I mean? just saying though, it's like it's people breaking in houses yeah. and shit. But it's like it's funny when you're watching it. <laughs> but really think about it, it's like this is what we were raising. Like shit is just funny. But I wouldn't change anything about um, my upbringing, man. I love my neighborhood. I still visit. I still frequent. I still have family in there. Yeah. Um, and what's going on over there right now is just even more beautiful with everything mm -hmm. that's happening. You know what I'm saying? It's a real renaissance happening in the city. Real renaissance happening yes, in the city. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Damn. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? When you, say, when you use the word renaissance, the connection, mm. you know what I mean? I, I, first of all, I want to give a big shout out to you, what you did, the Popeye show. Oh, thank you. 
I love to see what's going on in California. Like just looking at that, it's like, dang, yeah. look how they getting together. Look how they moving. Like, I feel like it was overdue for Cali to tap in in that aspect. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times you look at a lot of cities and states, and they be like, man, if we work together, if we got together, we could be as big as Atlanta or mm -hmm. big or wherever. I feel like yo sitting here and seeing that mm -hmm. was powerful for not just. California, but people around the country for real. Yeah, I, I've gotten calls from our people in every different city. They're like, man, we want to get one of those off. We want to get one. Like, man, do it. Do it. Like, go for it, man. I think it's very important to show a unified front, not only to each other, but to the world. Mm -hmm. Like, we was able to get that off to the world. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing, which is still a humongous thing to do that at the forum in front of our city. Yeah. But to know over 200 million people saw that. Um, the world saw y'all united. That's a, that's that's a big, big deal, man. Shout out to Dot for sure doing that thing for real. I feel like it became more than just about Kendrick. It came. It was more than just about the song. It was like, damn, look at them boys locked in. Yeah, yeah, man. That's that's him though. He know how to take something negative and flip it into a positive. You know, so all 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 praises go to him, PG Lang, uh, Tim at Free Lunch. All those guys they put together amazing, amazing event, man. I'm just happy to get invited. Mm. Yeah. Well, look, man, we're going to jump into Chupacabra in a second. Come you know on. what I'm saying? But uh, we're going to do some hood shit for real quick, real quick. Come on. As long as you got time to hang out hood clips, we play a little game. You know what I'm saying? We're going to play a couple throughout the day, so I hope you're ready, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, first game is going to be called How Hood Are You, man? On a scale of 1 to 10, where do you think your hood scale at, man? Right now, I'm uh -huh. at like a soft 6. A so <laughs> <laughs> soft 6? <laughs> soft 6 right soft now. soft 6, all right. Right now. Well, I'm going to give you a little hood report card, man. <laughs> and these questions right here let us know exactly how hood you are. Right. Let's see if you can do this thing. You know what I'm saying? No pressure. This is this light work for you. You That's feel right. me? That's right. First one out the gate, man. Oh, what age did you roll your first blunt? 18. 18. Okay, you know, that, that's, that's around about the same. That's, that's going to be all right. That's a good score right there. With my, uh, mama, with my mama. Oh, your mama. Okay, all right. No, with my mama. With, hold on, which? Yeah, joint. It was a paper. It was papers, though. Bro, you smoked a blunt with your mama. My mom's been growing weed and shit since I was a child. Like, that's not really like a, that, that wasn't a big deal. Damn. Yeah, I didn't want to smoke. Because my mom smoked. I was like, that's what old people do. Yeah. Like, she would be in there blazing all day. I was like, oh, my God. But I didn't smoke. You know what I'm saying? It was my mom. Shit. First yeah. month with your mama. That is going to help your hood score, my nigga. Uh, have your driver license ever been suspended? Of course. Damn, that's going to help you, too. That's good, though. I mean, <laughs> the goal is to be as hood as possible uh, right now. Oh, my goodness. Favorite hood movie of all time? Ah, uh, sheesh. Mm, you, know, you mentioned Friday earlier, so I don't know if yeah. you're going to go that route or maybe Men in Society. Or... Or boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood. Yeah. Man, why they did Ricky like that? That's yeah, a classic, man. though. Yeah. How long you cook your noodles? Ooh, they don't, I don't make them all the way soggy. You don't make them all the way soggy? Nah, that's jail shit. <laughs> I, I like my shit damn near about to, damn near about to get soft. Take it out, yeah. turn the fire off, and then let it sit. Whatever that is, so that I don't put the pack in in the pot, neither you put the pack in in the bowl. Uh. That way you get all that. Okay. Yeah, they, don't, they don't burn that seasoning out in there. See, you know something. You've oh, you, you been sure. cooking these for a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's one thing your mama always told you growing up? Uh, be you. Mm. No matter where you at. No matter who the fuck around. Yeah. That's don't, real. Don't ever not be yourself. Mm. My mom always told me, wherever you show out, that's what I'm going to show out. She's... Oh, she's, you talking about that type of shit? My mom used to beat my ass in public and shit. She probably oh, watched yeah. She's like, you gonna tell on me like that? But I mean, mm -hmm. you, you did, man. You did that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But moms always have a way of bringing you back home. When is a good time to call 911? Oh, no, somebody white do something to you. <laughs> somebody white <laughs> do something to you. I, I like that. I like that. Last thing right here, man. Last question. Then we're going to give you a hood report card and let you know how hood you really mm -hmm. is. Oh, my goodness. If you can go anywhere in the world, where would you go? In a lot of places. Um, um, Africa. Africa? Yeah. The motherland. Yeah. What's in Africa? Shit, I want to see. I'll find out. Well, yeah, I, so I, Ghana. I, I want to go to Ghana, mm. actually, especially. Yo, what's crazy, though, is I heard that Africa has a lot of motion. Like, I've seen a lot of great stuff come up out of Africa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that that's not a bad situation at yeah. all right now, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to Japan, and I've been a bunch of places I want to go. That's the one place I still haven't been yet. Mm, still yeah. haven't been there yet. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. So uh, uh, which favorite hood movie you said was Boys, Boys in, the in the Hood? You yeah. said you smoked your first blunt with not your dog, but your... My mama. God damn it. That's yeah. your mama. That's going to help your skull, for real, for real. License been suspended yes. multiple times. Multiple. Habitual offender. I'm going to put you around 
I brought my lab point five, but you're way more hood than you thought you was. Let's get into this goddamn album, man. So now that we talking about the project, mm -hmm. you're working with some goats on here. Yeah. I seen Wiz Khalifa on there. Yeah. I see the game on there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like those ain't no little fly by night type of artists, man. But I mean, for you, it makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the project, man. The thought process that goes into it and why you selected the people you selected for the project. Uh, just getting the chance to do another album with one of my childhood heroes, DJ Quick. Yeah. You just want to quick. You just want to make sure that uh, you surround them with the right energies and the right voices. Um, so me and Jay Worthy just went into our roller decks. Just pull what we could, you know what I'm saying? Who we think would be dope, what would be legendary, what what can we do to make this like an iconic moment for him? You yeah. know what I'm saying? So these are all our super friends. You know Does saying? it feel any added pressure to working with Quick? It not, man, it work with Tupac, man. Not not at all. It actually makes you like it. Actually, for me, it's yeah. complete opposite. Because mm. it's like shit. If if he fucking with me, that means I'm up. It's cracking. I, I shit. It's no pressure actually. Yeah. Because if I got right here, that means I've worked my ass off and I know what I'm doing because he doesn't let anybody get next to him. don't fuck with everybody. So it's like a complete opposite, actually. It's like loose as fuck. Damn, so just working with him is like almost like a sign that, damn, that you're doing exactly what the exactly. fuck you're it's like, doing. It's like pulling up in a Lamborghini with the biggest chain and three of the baddest ones. Mm. Yeah, it was, I... I don't gotta too, I don't gotta talk too much. I you ain't gotta talk too much. I, I, it, it, it looks like I did the work because I'm standing here. Come on, right, right. It's you know what I'm saying? So just that. to be in this room means something. Bruh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just yeah. to be around in this presence of greatness is like you already. It, man, Snoop told me something a long time ago. Uh, my first time he asked me to get on a song, um, he put me in a room and I jumped in there and he could tell something was off. He came in the room. He's like, "Yo, nigga, if you weren't supposed to be here, you wouldn't be here. So mm. act like it." I said. I'm like, what that mean? It's like, nigga, you got to take your shoes off, kick motherfuckers out, dude. Nigga, I need the you that I see. Damn. I said, Shit, from that day on, it's up. If yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in the room if I wasn't supposed to be here. So it's no, it's no adding nothing. It's I work and God put me here. Damn. So be yourself. Be you. You know, sometimes we be, look, I think, um... A good friend of mine, he called it tiptoeing. Like, you know what I'm saying? You kind of want to do it, but you hesitant about, like, really being your full self because you skeptical of what's going on. You want you don't want to do too much. You don't want to mm -hmm. do too less. you just trying to, it's like, sometimes you just got to, like, bro, be your fucking self. And that was fire as fuck for him to give you that type of advice. Yeah, he stopped me mid. I was recording. He said, hold on. He walked in there. He said, nigga, if you wasn't supposed to be here, you wouldn't be here. Damn. Act like it. I bet you never forget that moment right there. Never. I, I haven't forgot it since. That was 2008, 2009, he told me that. Mm. I've been myself everywhere I've been. I, 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 anytime I feel any type of anxiety or something, I can click to that moment. Like, I wasn't supposed to be here. I wouldn't be here. So act like it. Damn. That's a good feeling right there. I bet somebody's told Snoop that, too, probably back pretty in the sure. day. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Dre, somebody <laughs> wanna, told him. Yeah. So he passed it on, bro. And I just, hopefully somebody else, some kid, some adult, somebody hears that, that's in that moment where they don't know if, if they on the fence. Nah, you would be on the other side of the, the fence, fence if you wasn't supposed to be in here. Supposed to be here. Damn, that's some shit right there to be said. Knowing that right there and the way that you're moving right now, are you happy with what you've accomplished or do you feel like, man, there's so much left for you? Both. I'm su super happy with what I accomplished and I still feel like there's a whole lot more to do. So, I mean, if it stopped today, as far as California goes, they gonna hang my jersey up too, so I'm rapids. excited about that. Yeah. But as far as the world knows, I'm new. I'm brand fucking new, and I got a for right now. I'm like a new artist with a new name, with new energy. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of people trying to figure out why is Jason Martin with all of these people, mm. and so they was just doing they doing a back dig on the catalog, and it gives me that new energy of like, oh, I am brand new. It's like when Kobe switched from eight to twenty four. Yeah. Like all right, I won all. I won this way. But I need to win, like, this way for it to mean something. You know who switched their name and fucked me up? Oh. Two Chains. Crazy thing. I was like, who the fuck is Two uh, Chains? Right. It's crazy. When I did the name switch, I called him. No! I swear to God, I asked him. I'm like, bro, I'm thinking about changing my name. I'm like, what you think? What did you do when you did? Just asking questions. He's like, nigga, you, you, you still rapping? You still you doing the songs, right? He said, man, change that shit, man. <laughs> do it. <laughs> as long as you still rapping like you rap, do what you do. Fuck that. They gonna fuck with it. Just get hits. Just get hits. 
Sometimes it's really be easier. We'll we'll think ourselves out of some shit before we think ourselves into something. A lot of times. Yo, yeah, yeah, damn. Cause we, I think it's that mindset of all constantly worried about what other people gonna th- perceive us as. Right. Damn, am I gonna look stupid for this shit? N- is niggas gonna fuck with this shit? Man, I got we we you too. We got dream jobs. Like, I can't look stupid. <laughs> like that doesn't. <laughs> I can do stupid things. Right. But we're sitting here doing what we thought we were gonna do today. Yeah. At some point. A bunch of people thought they were going to do this and don't have a chance to do this. It's people that will never in their life get a chance to sit in here and have a conversation with you. Yeah. That's a, I take that shit very seriously. So I can't, nobody can, nobody can tell me what I am. I don't allow that. That's why this internet thing, I see why everybody, they be getting all frazzled when somebody's talking crazy. So I'm like, yeah. you don't even know those people. And if they can say something to you that you ain't already thought about yourself, like that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Like, nah, nah, man. It, and it's not like a, like, I don't, I'm far from cocky. Like, I'm probably one of the most humble guys walking around in that place, the artist thing. Yeah, for sure. But Respect. I'm confident as fuck in, as my, you should. in my ability to do music. So that's what I walk with. All the other stuff, you know, with the dressing and who's doing it and who's hot. And I, that's and all these different when lists. We go in and that these gym. War shows. And, when we get yeah. in that gym. Yeah. I think I can play with anybody as far as musically. And that's where my confidence comes from. You know, a wise man told me told me a long time ago, if you live by the cheers, boy, you die by the booze. You die by it, man. I swear, man. I know everybody's like so anti-Puff, but Puff told me some great advice one time. Drop he, them gems, damn it. Hold on, said, hold on to them. We um, need that. I said, bro, why you don't have like, yo, know, shit up, like Grammys and shit all over the place. He's like, probably don't ever fall asleep in the trophy room. I said, what? <laughs> he said, don't ever fall asleep in the trophy room. You got, If you see what you did, you ain't going to make you not want to do nothing else. Damn. Mm-hmm. Is, is it that, damn, is that that like comfortable mindset? I don't know. I just, like I, you I don't ever fall asleep guys, like, in the trophy don't room. Don't ever fall asleep in the trophy Niggas room. Niggas will pay to get, see that kind of, them, that's, you got to be in the room I'm to asking, get that kind of wisdom. But you got to ask questions. A lot of niggas is getting there so they can do photo ops and, yeah. and all that, bro. I want to know. I want. I need answers to like. I want to understand how you sustain longevity. How do you stay creative through the hoes, through the dope, through a whole play? Like, what is that thing that makes Snoop be here for thirty years? I want to understand. I want to know why. You how st- you last it? Right. And all you gotta do is ask. They'll tell you. Yeah. yeah. Yo, that that's fire, right? Well, I want to ask you this too. You know what I'm saying? Pick your brain on this. Like, what would you say? Like, yo, I'm so grateful I did this in my career because it's a lot of things you do along the way, right? It's mm-hmm. no blueprint to this shit. Not Niggas at all. think like, hey man, I could just put go here and do this and I'm gonna blow up. It's like, nah, nigga. Everybody' trajectory to success has been a different way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's always something that people do along the way that I was like, damn, I'm glad I took this risk or this chance or I did this. What was that? This for you? I'm glad that. I put what in all them songs. Okay. For sure. For sure. That was the smartest thing. And it was not my idea. When my partner told me, he's like, man, because I used to say that a lot. He's like, man, you need to put that in the song. Why you never put it on them songs? I'm like, I don't know. He's like, man, just, you should. What it did was, I didn't know I was branding myself. So when you hear what, you know I'm coming. No matter what type of beat, no matter what feature, no matter who, no matter where, no matter that. You hear that, you know, problem or Jason is in the room. And that was probably, that was the most game changing thing ever. Cause now I still have people walk up to me. What? Why? When I do the pop out, what? Give a fuck. It's what? Nigga, so I, yeah. I, that was probably the greatest accident ever. Greatest accident ever. Greatest, greatest accident ever. Cause now, even right now, with a new name change, when you hear what? Oh, wait a minute. I know that. People are in the familiarity. People mm-hmm. are in the light. You know, we know Run DMC for Adidas suits. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? We know some people told, for yeah. this. We know yeah. people for that. That was my one thing that stays with me to this day. Damn. And it's been working, bro. And, and, Man, and, I appreciate and, it. Yo, that's amazing. Because people pay a lot of money to try to find the right branding tool, trying to man. find their image or their thing. Yeah. Shout out to your friend, whoever that was, that man, told shout you. Shout out to Weez, man. Shout out <laughs> to Weez. Weez been right like, nigga, I thought that. Mm-hmm. Man, I told that nigga. To he that definitely shit. told me that for sure. <laughs> yo, do you remember being broke? Is that Fuck something? Yeah. 
that the you- fuck? What? A few, what? Four, five years ago. To me, I was broke. To me, shit. Yeah. <laughs> shit, for, then four years before that, like, this shit be doing this. You feel me? I've just now understood, like, real financial stability, like, recently. You know what I'm saying? Like, because the money comes so fast. And then me, I'm raising six kids. You know what I'm saying? Yo, big up to you. Shit. So... You a, you a, you raising six kids. Well, I got man. two adults now, but I'm raising six kids. Damn, so that's a during, beautiful thing, bro. I'm talking about during the run. During the run, yeah, for sure. During the run, so it's like... It's a beautiful thing. Nigga, that shit be hitting you. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? So as far as like... Now, broke where I can't eat, I haven't been that in a long time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, That that's a different... But I've yeah. been close, nigga, during when y'all have heard what? It's happened. With them overdraft fees down here. That. All that shit because you just... You, you, you gamble on something. Like, you may put too much money into this thing and then that don't hit. Or you're trying to do something out of your wheelbarrow. Like, start yeah. this business and be like, oh, shit. You know, you just never know. So... Oh, excuse me. I was yeah, saying... No, you good. Being, being yeah. broke, is, yeah. About four or five years ago, I, it was a rough patch. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hold on, shit, what's going on here? This, this ain't looking right. You know what I'm saying? This ain't what I signed up for, Yeah, yeah it's it. something shaking here and here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's what you need, though. I feel like that's what everybody needs. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you are self, if you're self-made. Mm. Yeah. And then along the way, being self-made, being broken, Taking risk, I think, has been one of the biggest things, even in my life. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I think a lot of times people are scared to do a lot of different stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, if I move to fucking California or if I take this, you know, opportunity or, you know. But a lot of times I look at it and i like, what if it actually, instead of what if it goes bad, what if it's the best thing right. that ever happened to you? Right. What risk did you take that you, you feel like has paid the fuck off? Shit. Damn. Uh, Jason Martin changed my name. Changed your name. Um, starting coffee and Kush. Uh, starting a new company, fifty million. Shit, fucking with Empire again. Yeah. Uh, a few things, a, a, a lot of things, a lot of risk have been paying off. Doing my own movie, doing the Compton story, doing Chupacabra. Just not second guessing what God's what God's putting in front of me. Mm. Like. That's been happening a lot lately, where I'm just like, I'm so in the present that I don't even see that it's not being gifted from somewhere else. It's like, oh, this wouldn't even be happening if I wasn't living right. So really not not second-guessing and shit, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it, not second-guessing shit. Damn, you, you saying some real-ass shit, bro. Yeah. I can tell you tied in for real, for real. Because yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm like, damn, am I asking the question? I'm just listening like this nigga preaching to this <laughs> This nigga says shit like, damn, I can relate to that. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's necessary for real, for yeah. real. Because sometimes you got to know where it come from. Yeah. Otherwise, it can stop flowing. Man, it's not you. It's not, trust me. You can act like it is. They may even try to sell you that it is. Uh-uh. This shit already written, bro. You just got to not take the seatbelt off. Mm. <laughs> Facts. Mm. I respect that. Now, with the project that you got out now, and when people put them headphones on, you mm. know what I'm saying? When people riding, you know what I'm yeah. saying, in the interstate, uh, ride through Compton, what you want people to feel once that thing come on, man? Um, I call it like, I feel like Chupacabra is elevating nostalgia. It's like we wanted to put a new twist on something that sounded like the 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 culture of the West Coast. Quick has a certain fan base. I have a certain fan base. So it's two ones to please. His day one fans, they want what he did before, and mine's mm. want what I did before. Yeah. So when you clash those two and then add new sounds and then different voices, it becomes this elevated version of nostalgia in my mind. And that's what we aim to do. We didn't want to really fit in. It wasn't like, well, that's what's sounding right. That sound is going crazy. Let's put one of those on there or da 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 because then we don't get a Catronado on there and then we don't get a CeeLo on there. We don't Damn. get these Thundercats, these random things that you don't think should come here. And just really like really show off that like we some bad motherfuckers when it comes to producing music. And I want Quick to get his flowers. Yeah. That was a big deal for me. Yo, that that's real. You know what I mean? Quick a legend, but you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that's going to find out, you know what I mean, from tapping in with you, mm-hmm. like your fan base. You know, it's a lot of younger people out there, too, mm-hmm. that's like, oh, Quick, I think I heard of him. And mm-hmm. that, but really absorb and take in his arts and right. creation of his new stuff. Like, it's a beautiful thing to see those two, how do I say it, um, those two eras of hip-hop. Yeah. Collide. Definitely. Definitely. 
Definitely, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, I, to see that for me is like almost reminiscent of like, you know, I just talked to Juvie about this too, to see him and LaRussell moving around. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, man, it's like people finding out that's falling in love. Like, man. Right. Quick, it really, you know what I'm saying? So when you do your research on it, then you see the project and you listen to it and you have another respect for it. Yeah. And vice versa. Like, it's his fans getting put on to me. Yeah. And like with, with LaRussell, like a juvenile has what twenty years of thirty years of fucking fans that get to know about this new kid from the Bay. I think it's it works everybody it works both ways. It works both ways, man. It mm -hmm. works both ways. So what are you working on now? You know what I'm saying? Outside the project for sure. You know what I mean? That you you know what I'm saying, you want the world to know about. Uh well my album, my solo album, um, I we're about eighty percent, ninety percent there. Oh, that's pretty damn that. close. Yeah, we close. We close. And then um me and Wiz just did an album in like three days randomly like last week. So that now three days y'all did a whole album? Yeah. Yeah, so that has kinda like came in like, whoa, okay, now we have these two bodies of work. He's getting ready to drop his solo album, uh uh Cushion Orange Juice Two, which I'm heavily involved in and then There you me, go, there you go. Than me doing my solo stuff, so I think that's a perfect gateway for some other stuff that we have going on. But it was so organic. Um, so those two things right now, musically, uh, quick actually on the way here, he's ready to start his solo shit. So dialing in on that is gonna be important. My brother Terrence Martin making sure his shit is together. Uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff musically and then outside of music, just making sure I stay creative. Um, some film and TV stuff I'm developing. Damn. So yeah, just staying busy, just wanting to like really squeeze the sponge. Cause one day I just know, like you know, I'm not gonna want to be this eager and hungry to create and move around. So I'm trying to while I feel this boat, like let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's stay focused and present and just get as much done. So yeah, that album coming though. Yo, I love to hear that you creating all these things and doing all these things. I had a conversation with a good friend of mine, and he was just saying, like, man, you don't want to die, right? And the guy said, here's a list of all the things you did. Mm -hmm. And then here's the list of all the things I wanted you to do. Oh, man, that's cool right there. I like that. I take that one. And I was like, sheesh. And for whatever reason, you didn't do it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I was just like, dang. Yeah. <laughs> so that made me say to myself, like, Bro, whatever's put in my heart and my spirit, I want to try to create. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to try to do. So to hear that you doing all these different things, man, like big up to you for, you know Thank what I'm saying, you. putting action to it. Because sometimes it's really just about starting that shit. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are afraid to lose. So they just won't start. They'll talk themselves out of a great idea. Then two years later, I'll pass by somebody to do it. They're like, they stole my idea. No, they, they didn't. <laughs> You didn't do it. <laughs> you didn't move on it, bro. You didn't do it. You probably tweeted or Instagram the body, but you didn't do it. He was moving too slow. Yeah. Hey, well, uh, speaking of moving too slow, this one's going to move a little fast right here. This is going to be this or that. I told you we are going to play a couple of them. We're going to make it half. Right. You got this thing. Let's see how many you can get, man. You got this. Love or loyalty? Uh, loyalty. Mm, that's a big one for you. Peace or money? Because you know, sometimes... Money don't be worth it, or maybe the the money's more important than your peace. What which one is it for you? I mean, I know if if I'm at peace, I'm gonna make a gang of money. But if, if, but if I got the money, I'm gonna make sure it's peace. So it's a, it's that's a coin flip at this point. You I know. know and then uh, I had somebody tell me you can't be have a lot of money without uh, with peace at the same time. So it's, yeah, but shit, it's no peace in being broke neither. Uh, Damn, you just said some shit, mm. There's <laughs> no peace in being broke. Yeah, I'm out of money. You had of money? Yeah. Okay, more money, more That's problem. gonna make sure all my family is peaceful. Okay. Yeah, I'll take on whatever come with that. You can money do bring problems too, though. Come on, I'm problems still. <laughs> <laughs> you be like, damn, man, ever since I got this money, I keep calling my phone about this and now, that. Come on, come on, I'm ready for that. Okay. <laughs> Martin the Fresh Prince, man, who you rocking with? Martin. Ooh, LeBron or Jordan? Kobe. Kobe. He going with Kobe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Same one on that one. All right. Ooh, well, I, I think this is kind of obvious. L.A. or Miami? L.A. Yeah, yeah, that's what obvious. Chris Brown or Usher? Chris. Chris. Mm, for the dancing and the singing? Which? Chris is Chris. Chris, Chris is Chris. just fucking Chris. Chris, Chris man. Mm, I respect <laughs> that. Ooh, we finna hit the vocals right now. Who you going out with? Whitney or Mariah? Whitney. Mm. When that lip get the jiggle, I tell people, but Whitney was different. Yeah, Whitney That's was, a young hey, Whitney. Yo, Whitney wasn't no joke. Whitney wasn't no joke. You well, ain't Mariah ain't no joke neither now. Nah, Mariah. 
Sheesh. That's crazy. I respect it. I respect it. Ooh, Tom Brady or Patrick Mahomes? I had Mahomes. But I'm over the go- over time? Man. Well, I'm a Chiefs fan. Okay. I've been one since 92. Oh, you ain't no new just because no, no, no. they got a run going when on. Ma- when Montana, Joe Montana went to the Chiefs is when I went. Damn. See, I just, bro, it had it took for um the security guard to tell me that Joe Montana played for the Chiefs. I had no, I thought he was over 49 little, the whole time. I, I was a little kid and I liked the video game. So I was a fan of the guy in the video game. So when he went to the Chiefs, I didn't like how he didn't get a chance to play because he got injured. That's crazy. So I went to the Chiefs. We didn't have a team in LA. So he was like, all right, well, I'm going to go with Montana. And I was just there. So I've been a fan since like 92, 93. Whenever he got there is when I became a Chiefs fan. That, so you you survived the whole oh, Priest was, Holmes oh, era. Oh, man. What? You know what I'm saying? Like Trent Green, weak Dante ass. Dante Hall. For, I mean, yeah, the weak ass, the weakest fucking quarterback <laughs> ever. Like we had some of the most average, <laughs> average. Like when the joystick was there, we'd have, yeah. had, we'd have had Pat with the joystick. Oh, my God. God, Larry Oh, God. Because Andy Reid was with him for a quick second. The Andy Andy got here and he yeah. he shaped this shit right in the in the into the way, man. But we had some very, very game managers. We had a lot of game managers as, yeah. as quarterback. When we got the one, when we got the GOAT. Yo, when you go when y'all Pat, got, man, go when Pat, Pat is came, GOAT. That shit just shifted, bro. He's the GOAT. Watch. Three P. He gonna pass Tom. Once he get this three P, he'll now have something that Tom never did. This year. And faster, too. They don't even want... So, when I have this conversation, all the NFL guys get all weird. I'm like, bro, like, well, let's put up his numbers at 27 versus everybody else. It's staggering. It's like it's like crazy. Like, you don't even want to have a conversation. You're not even close. It's not. And the boy is healthy and young. The boy ain't even getting touched. He barely get hit. He, no, he got the check down now. So, it's like, oh, I'm not even about to be playing with y'all. I don't play hard until the last four games. <laughs> I don't even watch the season until week 12. You know, I love Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> but it always seemed like, I ain't going to lie, that he do some, he pulls some bullshit, like some shit that's like, how the fuck did he throw that sideways, 30 yards touchdown, let, by, fall on the ground, just... He brought the no look to the NFL. Like, <laughs> I was like, we got to, ch- like, just if we just go I like, if you just take away stats, there's never that. been a quarterback in the NFL. Like More that. dynamic. There's never been one, ever. They I'm gave, thinking. They let Tom. They let Tom get one. They let Tom beat him. Yeah, yeah. So they did that. He got on up out of here. But this three peat is gonna separate everything. Oh shit! Yeah. I know Tom. I want to. Tom probably cool with if he beat the record. He probably ain't. Oh, he gonna beat that because he already said. He said I'm not the greatest until I win eight. Pat said that when he won the second one. This is gonna be interesting. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be interesting. So it's safe to say you got the Chiefs this year oh, to win this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody knows that. Everybody got the oh, Chiefs. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, right, they gotta go through my bucks though. So it's gonna be interesting. Like I said, y'all got one. Y'all got. Y'all got that one. <laughs> they gotta go through Tampa. <laughs> they gotta go through Tampa. All right. Let's do this. Oh ooh, yeah. This is good. BBL or natural, man? Which way nah. natural? All natural. All natural. All natural. Ain't no need for nothing Because that mental, that's telling me something about your mental. If you got to damn, you going to mess with what God gave you? That's crazy. That's, that is crazy. That's crazy. Mm, as you are, <laughs> baby. That, like, just like that. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. 90s music or early 2000s? 90s. Mm. Yeah. 90s was the vibe, man. I feel like that era was just always, it was from the fashion to the music to... It was when, like, the black CEO was, like, that thing. So from hip-hop, R&B especially. Like, R&B in the 90s is... That's, like, up there with, like, the 70s and the 60s. With the Aaliyahs and the Ushers and, and, and just... Jeez, like, it, man, you could just go them two if you just want. <laughs> R. Kelly, just, Jesus, like, Michael still, that, Michael Jackson at the beginning part. Yeah. It's it, but boy, yeah. boy, boy, boy. Tupac, Biggie. Man, if we, I ain't even going to go rap. Rap, that's hands down. We yeah. just go just R&B. Like, that's the golden era of hip-hop. We've yet, we've yet to see another era like that 90s right there. Like that the 90s. 2000s, right? and rap was, we might get close, but that 90s, boy. That 90s hit different. The pop we, stuff, everything. Even the culture, the style, we still duplicate it to this day. Right now, everybody is wearing that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, damn. You said some shit right then. I ain't going to cap on that one. Oh, yeah. Let's get funny for a second, man. Kevin Hart or Cat Williams when it come down to it, man. Who, who do you think? Who you giving the goat to out of them two? 
I like them both for different reasons. Yeah. Neither one of them can do what the other one can do. So it's like they both are like this thing. But if we go in, I don't, man, Kevin Hart, man. I'm That's gonna, a funny I'm, I'm gonna have to And go as Kevin. a brand, too? I'm gonna go, it depends on your factors. I'm going to go Kevin Hart just just for I probably watched more stand-ups and movies and TV with Kevin Hart, but he's everywhere. But that Cat Williams is a genius if you really dial into what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, it's, 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 it's kind of how Dave Chappelle do. It's that humor with truth that I love. You know what I'm saying? But it's dark, so everybody don't get it. Yeah. yeah. It's really an art to comedy, bro. Man, that shit hard. And some people think they could do like even with rapping, even with what, even just interviewing or just sitting there. It's a, it's all a art. Yeah, that comedy is different. That comedy is different. Jeez, that's different. It's no music, it's no light, it's no nothing nah. that can make it great. It's you or Mike, <laughs> and if you ain't funny, niggas just looking. Yeah, like I could cheat with the rap shit. I could put enough blow up shit up here and <laughs> make the beat stop and do some shit. Dancers, that comedy is crazy. Yeah, niggas will look at you like. I am and it hurt kidding. watching somebody when they're not funny. You be like, ooh. He looking stupid he looking... up there. <laughs> no, nah, you definitely don't want that kind of smoke at all. You nah. know what I'm saying? So that that for you is definitely something that you really, I don't think you truly hit, had to experience that. You know what I'm saying? The way you rock stages and do your thing. Mm -hmm. What's a Jason Martin show for those who ain't been to a Jason Martin show? What can they expect? We're going to have a good time. A lot of uh, call and response. Uh, we're going to turn up. I'm a, we gonna bring we gonna have people. I'm gonna probably hop on the stage. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a great time. I love performing. I, I love it. I feel like you want to be remembered in a way that people are always respect. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you give your all to a way that like, man, problem was just authentic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know what is the thing that you want people to speak on you when when it's all said and done? You want them to say problem brought what to the game? Um, an attitude. He brought a certain attitude, a certain demeanor to to the game. Um, without without all the tricks, without all the fucking the gangbang shit, the yeah. having to tell y'all who I'm fucking, having to rely on all the other things. My shit is all music and bravado. That's it. And mm. Good business. I'm not showing my kids to get y'all to fuck with me. I'm not letting y'all meet who I'm. We're not doing none of that. It's all. Music based, skill based, and when you meet me, I want you to feel that. I want you to understand that you're talking to somebody that's exactly like you. I want you to be. Re I want to be relatable, but mm. not obtainable. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. not everybody can get this close. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Not so for if you sure. Got this close. It's the reason you fucking here. We eye level. We eye level. Yeah. No, I can. How did you get out of company without getting caught up in all of that? Especially the game world, like that life. I mean, I I knew early, I knew early, like I was born in Germany. Stop playing. Yeah. Get so, where I was born at. Where? Germany. Come on, man. I was born in Würzburg, Germany. Frankfurt. Yeah. Damn. So I think I think that first year of my life, I was I I was I learned how to walk, talk, shit, pee, all that over there. So when you throw me in Compton, this already is like. I'd already know it's something bigger, and I, this subconsciously, I don't know, but I'm saying, it's, just looking back, I knew there was more than this. So yeah. when they would do certain shit, I'd be like, what? That don't make any sense. But if anybody was on, you know, because of the upbringing, I couldn't let nobody play with me neither. Mm. So There you go. Yeah, for sure. These, I respect that. These hands work. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> They've worked well enough to I ain't got to use them too much. <laughs> and I feel thing, you. I feel and, you. And but you going to make it home, though. Oh, I, I'm going to get home. We gonna, we I'm getting, getting, I'm getting home. home. I'm getting to that house. God damn. I don't know if the police going to meet me there, <laughs> but I'm going to get there for sure. It's a fact. I, I'm, I'm coming home. That, I'm getting to that house, man. It, it's um, I just, I've always known how to say no, too. If I can't do it, I can't. No matter who you are, the biggest... Drug dealer, gangbanger, whatever, like, nah, that ain't, I don't fuck with that. And I'm gonna just tell you, though, I'm not finna be like, yeah, I got you. Like, nigga, you know I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I'm not. Come on, bro. Very, very, I know, I know what I am and what I'm not. And I think that's where it was just people was like, man, get him out of here. He ain't with that. All right. Man, you go in the house. This is about to happen or shit like that. I was, I was protected. Yeah, like that, like that, like that scene. Um, almost went on when they were boys and hood, they were riding in the car. You were like, man, let me out. Let me out. Let See me. me? <laughs> I would have been like, hey, dog, 
<laughs> let's go to the house. Out of all of us would have went home if it was me. All of us like, would have the motherfucker. Let's go, let's go to the crib. If it's for us, we'll shoot them when they come to us. We're not about to go looking for nobody. Yeah. <laughs> so I, they that's, were right that's me in that car telling them that. Like, all right, no, no, no. There. If we ain't found them in three hours, it's like, let's, It's time to go the fuck let's, back let's, home. Come on, we let's, 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 let's think this out a little bit. I think it take a level of maturity, too. You know what I'm saying? And I think you being a father helps in that maturity. Yeah. And I think sometimes, you know what I'm saying, um, they, I, I remember somebody telling me ain't nothing more scary than a nigga who ain't got shit to lose. Man. Man. So when you know you got to get home and when you know you got something to lose and people depending on you, you yeah. move different. Yeah. Very you know what I'm saying? So. Very much so. Very much so. The decisions are, um, they're, they're weighed on a heavier scale. So if I have to... Uh, if I have to exercise any type of ignorance, I've thought it all the way out. All the way out. All the way. Because you I, know. Because I got to get away with it. <laughs> I, got, I, I got to. <laughs> and I ain't coming out on the losing end either. I can't. I cannot. I cannot explain to my nine-year-old, I got a mark on my eye. Yeah. I can't. I can't explain. I don't want them to ever have to see me in a jail cell. I don't want them to ever have to click on the internet and my dick is out. Yeah. Or some nigga beating me up. I don't know all of that. I'm, yeah. All of that. Nah, we not playing none of that. Nah, so it's a different, I just move different. I either, I go play, I go where I'm welcome. Yeah. And I don't go where I don't want to go. You don't go where you don't want to go. Nah. Mm. Does hip hop owe you something? Like, man, I'm doing it. I still want this from hip hop. It owes me this. Or, you know what I mean? I think I still owe hip hop something. I don't think hip hop owes me shit. You owe hip hop. Uh, yeah, I owe hip hop something, man. I'm able to. Put kids through college and do full hip hop and do interviews and fly out here and do photo shoots and do shows and shit. Like hip hop don't owe me shit. I I owe more to hip hop. I have to put something in it. My boy Terrence Martin said, if you don't put nothing in hip hop that somebody can copy or steal, you ain't did nothing. Sheesh. So he said, that's that's when you that's when you gave hip hop something. When they've taken it, when they've mimicked it, when they've tried to do that. Now, my first. A lot of people be mad when somebody do kind of shit. Hell like, no. Nah. That mean it worked. That mean, like, my thing is, like, where you think everybody get their style from? They see somebody else with it. Like, if you see a shirt, well, I like how he put that together. Now, you're going to do it your way. Right. But at all, everybody got mood boards of other people. Shit they saw before, you modify it. Like, if I don't give them nothing to modify, I ain't did nothing. Now, I did my first run. They took what we did with my Molly Wood series and all that, and I feel yeah. a lot of that in everybody. So I gave that. So what is Jason Martin gonna give to hip hop? That's what I'm on right now. But owe me something. What the fuck? I've been paid handsomely yeah. by hip hop. I'm that shit. <laughs> thank you. Thank, yeah. thank you, hip hop. The fuck? Hip hop. Hip hop has treated you very yeah, well over the years. Shit. Oh shit. Oh, what hip hop owe me? Niggas is crazy. Niggas is crazy. <laughs> they they owe you they ain't nothing. I owe hip hop. You owe hip hop. Mm -hmm. Damn, you the only person to ever answer the question in that manner right there. But that's 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 a, a hood clips exclusive right Come there. Come on. I owe hip hop. Yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm. You know, that's important for you. You've learned a lot of lessons along the way, and I love that you can pull from moments where it'd be puff or puff from mm -hmm. Snoop and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the best piece of advice, though, that you've got? You know what I mean? Because, <sighs> you know, this, that's these. Yeah. Don't don't sleep in the trophy. All room. of those. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of those that I told you are the best. And then I'll say, that's like what Snoop said, if you wasn't supposed to be here, you wouldn't be you here. Wouldn't that is be, yeah. like, you put that number one. Cause that was one of the first pieces I got. That was pre anybody knowing my name, all of that, and I, that I still hold. As far as um, what I learned, that mm -hmm. I had to pick up. Don't allow everybody to do everything for you. Do not, even if you have a lawyer, tell them to put you CC you on anything with your name involved with it. Do not, and do not allow anybody to just speak for you without you saying what they're saying. I don't care who it is. I don't care about none of that. My manager is talking to somebody, put me in the chat, put me in there. I don't have to say a word, but I'm not going to have people speaking or doing business for me, and I'm not present, ever, ever. I need to I need to be able to see what's going on with my life, business-wise, at all times. Even if it's setting up an interview, if it's what shoe strings I'm finna wear. For sure. And I don't have to pick it. There's people here that are going to do their job. But what do I look like? Who do I think I am that I don't need to... Keep my eye on my stuff. Nah, what if I, you may your answering style may be different from mine, or this yeah. this this person 
may need a response in 48 hours and then you're doing it in 72. I need to be able to be like, oh, um, they're gone, they're doing this, they'll be hitting you back shortly because that's how business works. That right there changed everything for me. Like, do not, I repeat, do not put anything with my name on it. Please CC Damn. me so I can CC it <laughs> yeah. Yeah, again. So that has been the best. That has been the best. Again, I'm not stepping in and talking when people are talking. Yeah. When she has to handle something, I'm not, no, nah, don't say that. Yeah. No, nah, we're not doing that. But keep me in the loop. I, I keep me in the loop, loop of my life. What if you say something I don't like? I need right. to be able to text you on the side like, yo, yo, yeah. That ain't how I want to be. When you speak for me, I don't want that. Like, I, I don't talk like that when I'm talking about this or da 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 You know what I'm saying? Not not like no sug shit. <laughs> no, it ain't that. <laughs> you said that like the sug nah, shit. No, it ain't like we finna fuck you up or nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you need to know I'm standing there. I respect that. Yeah. You know, a lot of times it's very convenient to be like, oh, yeah, they got it. Yeah, and they, they do have it. it. And the thing I, is, that's the thing. Got I've gotten to the point where I know they got it. You know what I'm saying? So I still want to be able to check if I'm sitting around bored <laughs> or if I'm doing whatever because at the end of the day, it's still my career. It's mine. And I can't allow – because the thing is, if it, go, if it goes wrong, I can't blame anybody. It's me because I didn't see it or I didn't tell them to stop or I let them. Anything bad happens to you is your fault. Even if it will, I, I told her, no, you let them. <laughs> you should have stopped them. You should have said something. So I removed that. Now we won't, we won't ever have to, it's always going to be my fault because I saw it. Because it always going to come back to you regardless. It's my fault because I'm the head. Like, if somebody is speaking on your behalf and they cursing you out or whatever the hell and this, this, and that, you don't know nothing about it, you just walking around. At least let me know you cussing the motherfucker out. Yeah. So I can know, all right, we cussed him out. We're not fucking with we him. We got smoke with this nigga. I need, to, I need to understand that. Yeah. I need to I need to know it all when it comes to Jason. Now, when you're doing what you're doing, have it all you want to do it. But nah, I need to see people that I have to pay. Why the hell I can't see what they're talking about when they're right. talking about me? How much we give him again? And what's this thing? I, then the thing is, I ain't tripping about paying. But you this know. is what I'm paying for, to be able to see these great people handling my business. These great people handling your business. Yeah. Yeah, that's a smart business. Man. I feel like that comes from years of learning, from learning. That yeah, ain't something you just not get out looking. of the gate. That's where that broke thing happened. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you allow it, you're not yeah. looking. you just high and having a good yeah. time. Like, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Wait, yo, we missed that? What? Wait, we didn't get that back? We didn't That ain't came uh, in yet? Or wait, they tried to book me for you didn't see that? Ooh. What what? Oh no no no. You no. about to make me check my damn book hey, no, email. Right? Yeah, <laughs> hey, just keep an eye on you. That's all I'ma say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <sir. laughs> I respect that for sure, for sure, man. All this wisdom you dropping, I know there's a lot of people that's gonna watch the interview, like, God damn, take note right there. I'm gonna do that right there. Man, I learned all of this, man. Take my pain and get some game, man. Hey, to... hey. Come on, man. man. I like that. I like that. The main reason you doing hip hop, because you could have did a lot of things in your career, bro. You could have been a little bit of everybody, didn't doing a lot of bit of stuff, but you chose hip hop for a reason. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What was the reason why you're doing hip hop? Is it because you want to be, I don't want to say rich? Is it because the love you had for it early on? Like, what was your reason for the doing beginning hip-hop? or now? Damn. Which both. one? But I feel like both is necessary <laughs> right now. <laughs> The beginning, because them niggas had all the bitches. Come on, now. <laughs> you really got all the chains, all the women, all the cars. And I couldn't, I mean, I got two kids. I got to, I can't work at this place. I got to do some real shit. I got to figure this out. That's That was the real reason, like, at the beginning, like, girls like rap. Yeah, for sure. As I became a student and got a chance to live my dream, why I still do it now is, like, I just, it's, I just love making music. I love it. I love it. I actually enjoy the process of walking in the studio, having nothing there, and then leaving with something to send and play for everybody. I'm addicted to that. I love taking something from A to Z. Now, whatever money and all that that comes with that, that's great. But the process of me, like, she knows, like, she's like, are you booking the studio? You need anybody up there? I'm like, no. <laughs> what do you mean? I just need to sit here by myself. Mm. It's me, the computer. I just need to, because this is also my therapy. This is also me going to play basketball. That's what this is to me. I just happen to get paid for it. But this is like 
my freedom away from all my responsibilities. I can come in here and curse as loud as I want. Right. I can talk crazy. Shit I wouldn't do no more. Reckless I can shit, say it. Yeah. I'm going to sock them through the face. I, I'm not going to hit nobody, but I can come in here and do it. If if somebody's made me mad to keep me from yelling at them, I'll do a song about that. It's, it, it, it saves me from crashing out. So that's what I've been doing it for the last decade, for sure. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you, you still get that feeling in the middle of the night, like something off, I got to create something. It's just, it's just off. I need to. I ain't had no off feelings in a while. It's just, I just want to create. I'm just going to go do it because... There's nothing but great things that happen, and it keeps you from doing stupid shit, and it keeps you from spending money because you're bored, eating because you're bored, mm. talking to motherfuckers you don't got no business talking, talking to because you're bored. Cause you're bored. <laughs> like, what the fuck you was doing over there? Hey, bored. I was bored. Everybody does dumb shit because they're bored. Because they're fucking bored. They're not handling it. With, so if I get bored, I'm going to go somewhere where I could possibly do a song to change everybody in my family's life. Damn. Is it ever enough money though? Once you get to this point, you done. Like I, I done hit this height. I done made this many. Mi- um, I don't know. I don't know if that's even a real thing. Is it enough money? I don't know what that even feels like. I don't know. I'm not. I ain't made enough money. So I'm speaking from today. <laughs> fuck no, no. Uh, but to somebody else, it may be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> no. 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 I don't do it for money, but I want my money for doing it. Mm. I don't do it for money, but I want my money <laughs> for doing it. If I do it right, I want what comes with me doing it right. As you should. Right. I could, that That's justifiable. That makes perfect sense. Uh, totally. Right totally. Yeah. Totally. Well, look, man, I ain't going to sit here and cap with you, brother. The stuff you dropped on us today, man, what you gave us today, yo, it's definitely felt, man. And I can tell that you own something amazing. You know what I'm saying? Thank I want to thank you for coming through here. No, thank Taking God. the time nah. you know, to be the solution, but still yet the problem. Come on. Yes, yeah, sir. Hello, yeah. for helping me find my new name, Direct Deposit. Direct Deposit, D2. D- Ooh. <laughs> Boy, hey, look here. <laughs> we, listen, <laughs> y'all better go get that goddamn ass. <laughs> Everybody and mama's on there. I appreciate you coming through here. More life. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll tell every guest that come more blessings to you. Thank I you. want to see Grammys. I want to see Oscars, BET Awards, MTV Awards, all of the above. And uh, before you go, like I tell everybody, you got to leave us on a positive note, man. Uh... Shit. Uh, I thought we gave a gang of positive. We here. did. We I, did. Uh, but I just didn't want to end it the right. Like you know. Let's see. Let's see. What you got, um, Lieutenant? Stay focused and stay balanced. That's all you got to do in this life shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows when they're going too far left and going too far right. Got to stay focused. Stay present. Stay focused. Stay balanced. Stay present, though. Stay present. Don't look too far ahead. Don't look too far back. Your past is like your ass. It's behind you for a reason. Don't fuck with it. You can't change it. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Go forward. You should be good. Damn. Thank you so much. <laughs> my brother. Javanti on my hoes. Doing like 85 down PCA straight to Mastro's. Eating my steak in the medium. Gas in the whipping is premium.